Monday while he was preparing his burial God came and said there are still more victories you are not dying now oh God you are not dying now because there are still more things to do there are still more victories there are still more appointments. There are still more assignments. There are still more. There is still more work to do for God. You are not dying now, woman of God. You are not dying now, men of God. You are not dying now, my child. You are not dying now because there is assignment that God is assigning you for. And until that assignment, it is done, it is fulfilled, you are not dying. You are not dying. God is saying to Joshua, you are not dying. I know you are old. You are not dying because I still have a work to do. I still have assignment to do through you. Many of us, we quit. Too soon. We think it is over too soon. We allow the situation into talking us out of the victories of God. We allow things to talk us out of the anointings of God. We allow things to talk us out of the glories of God. We allow situations to talk us out of the assignment of God. And God is saying, I'm aware and I want to use you. I am aware and I want to anoint you. Let me tell you something. No man is used by God by mistake. No woman, oh God, I'm feeling this thing. No woman is used by God by mistake. You are not used by God by mistake. People treat others in ministry as if they are in ministry by mistake. Hey, no one is in ministry by mistake. We are all in ministry by divine appointment. God knows you were a prostitute before. God knows that you were you a murderer. You was a murderer. God knows that you was a serial killer. God knows you were a rapist. He didn't do a mistake calling you into ministry. Sometimes people treat you in ministry like they are 